In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a coiled basket using embroidery floss and macrame cord. I'm Lucy Jennings from the Creativity Patch, where I teach you how to weave. I'm going to be making a basket similar to this one. It's kind of small, so I'll be using three millimeter macrame cord as the core. The first thing we're going to do is make the spiral on the bottom of the basket. Now I want to warn you, this is the hardest part. Once you get the core started, it's a lot easier, but it's still easy. Let's get going. I'll be using embroidery floss to wrap around the cord. Now about one inch in, I'm going to tie the embroidery floss around the cord. Just one knot is fine. You don't need to do any double knots. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the embroidery floss around the cording, wrapping to the right hand side. I'm just going to wrap for oh, about an inch. Keep the wraps as close together as you can. You don't want the macrame cord to show through. Sometimes I even take it and I squeeze it down to make sure they're getting really close together. Because it's really important at the start that they're very, very close together. You'll see why in just a minute. Now I'm going to give it the bend test. See how it looks when I bend it together. And what I'm looking for is knowing that when I'm winding, I can wind around both of the ends of the cord without any cord showing through. So it looks like it's ready. I've wound enough to make a nice little loop there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwind it for now because I just was doing that to show you. So I'm going to wind it for right now. And I'm going to cut a taper on the end here. I'm going to unwind the plies on this. just like so. So I'm going to cut one off very close to the edge of my embroidery floss. And then I'm going to cut another one just a little bit ways down. And then I'll cut this one, the third one. Oh no, these are the third. <laughs> I'm going to cut that a little ways down farther also. So that what I have here is a nice taper. And we want that because I am, okay, we want that because I am going to fold it over and wind both of them together. So here we go, I'm going to fold it over. And now, this is going to be acting like one cord down here. It's all going to go together. I'm going to wind around both of them like so. This is the tricky part. And if you mess up, well, just take out your winds and do it again. No big deal. So I'm going to wind a few here. Maybe about an inch as well. We will see. Try to keep those threads right in there. Keep it nice and neat. Now what I'm looking for is that I've wound around enough to fold it over again. Now as you can see the coil, I'm going to get my needle to show you here. As you can see the coil has started here and it went around this way and now it's going this way. So we want it to wind around this direction. So I'm going to take my coil and fold it. And does it fold over? I'm not sure. 
Oh, I think it will. I think it will. It looks awfully awkward right now, but believe me, it's all going to be fine and we're going to live happily ever after. Oh, I messed up a little bit there. I got a little bit of the cording sticking out. So I'm going to, I took out those winds and I'm going to wind a few more back. This is not extra technical. Here is time to learn how to do the stitch. It's called the figure eight stitch. So I'm going to do right now is I'm going to thread my embroidery needle. Would you like to see a handy dandy easy way to thread the needle? Which I think is handy dandy. I wrap my embroidery thread around the needle really tight. Hold it really tight like this. And then I pull the needle up through it like so. And then I stick it through the eye of the needle. I think it's easier. I'll review what we've done so far. We started coiling here and we went around like so. We adhered the two together so now it's like one cord. And then we've wound the embroidery thread around the core here. And what we're going to do is start adhering this cord to this one. And we're going to make it be a hidden stitch. It's called the figure eight stitch. I take my needle. I bring it up through the hole in the middle. And after I bring it up through the hole in the middle, I bring around to the front side of this cord and then around the back side of the cord we're winding on top. Pull it nice and tight. They're laying right on top of each other. And that's the figure eight stitch. And I'll do the same. I'm coming up through the center. I'm bringing the embroidery floss around the back side of the cording that's laid on top. It's around the back side of it. And then I'll wind about four more times. I'm going to pull it tight. I don't want any cord showing through. Once again, coming up from the center, around the top to the back side of the other cord on top, and wind it some more. It is a bit tricky at the beginning here because you have all of these little pieces here to be thinking about while you're winding the cord, but it gets easier. I hope you liked watching this video. In the next one, I'm going to show you how to start a new strand. We'll see you there. If you'd like to learn more about weaving, subscribe to my channel. And be sure to check out my website, The Creativity Patch. There's lots more things to learn there, and I've got some really fun weaving kits. See you there, and happy weaving! <laughs>